There's a lot of people in our studio who grew up with Mortal Kombat. People remember seeing this crazy arcade game. There's a nostalgia factor that people connect with. We created this thing that became way bigger than we are. This whole game is a part of my life and has been for 20 years. It's incredible to actually, you know, work on one. It's cool seeing the evolution of the team and the evolution of the tech. This is the Mortal Kombat that we've always wanted to do. Scum. Mortal Kombat X has a lot of different competitive modes, a ton of content for the player to be able to play. We have story, 1v1 ranked, we have King of the Hill, survivor mode, test your luck. The dynamic towers are amazing. They're going to be switching some of them on the hour. We want players to feel like they are in this universe, they are seeing the story evolve. With Mortal Kombat X, the span of the story is actually 25 years. Now we have a whole new generation of the characters, and so that's going to be really exciting to see how the fans take that. The story mode in Mortal Kombat X is just amazing. It's, it is a blockbuster movie within a game itself. I think if we weren't trying to innovate something that we wouldn't be motivated. Adding something to the game that's never been done before, we're gonna have a much more aggressive and elaborate online experience. We really wanted to build on the whole community feeling. We're finally able to globally connect everyone that plays Mortal Kombat. First thing you do when you're playing Mortal Kombat is pick a faction. We have five different factions. We have Black Dragon, the Brotherhood of Shadow, the Lin Kuei, Special Forces, and the White Lotus. But with the faction mode, we want to really tie that together and give context to it and give it bigger stakes. Uh, so everything you do informs this war. The faction war is a persistent metagame that kind of builds off of the core game. Every week we start a new war, and everyone's adding in every day, all the way through the week. And at the end of the week, a winner will be determined based on how many points there have been accumulated. But you're also able to rank up inside your faction and unlock uh, custom rewards that are, that are specific to the faction that you've joined. Everything you do in the game is contributing to your faction points. So when you play story mode, you're adding to faction points. When you play these towers, you're adding to faction points. Defeating people from other factions gives you even more points. So it really kind of encourages the whole competitive aspect of, you know, we are a team here and we are out to defeat other factions. And then for a special 24-hour period that happens randomly each week, the whole faction system can be invaded uh, by one of the uh, more powerful realms, such as the Nether Realm or the Outworld or Chaos Realm. People, I think, are going to be really excited to work collaboratively with other players as a team to defeat a common enemy. One of the great things about factions is to let people at very different skill levels or people who like different modes all contribute to the war. There's something new every single day that they haven't seen before. So this is the first time we've ever done any sort of system that kind of connects everyone together. We keep the heart of the game the same. The combat, the feel, and we give the player a lot of new options. Every Mortal Kombat game, we try to make sure that the fans, when they play it, it will be something that they've never experienced before. My anxiety would be if we weren't adding something. We really took the next theme very seriously. With the next-gen technology, we could pretty much do anything we imagined. It's the next generation of the Mortal Kombat universe.